Hello everyone, you are on the Auto Advisor channel. Here we talk about cars and how they work in simple words. Today we'll talk about what a robot, a robotic gearbox is. A robotic gearbox is a conventional manual gearbox, which also has a clutch. This is the clutch. The only difference from manual is that in this one, the special transmission device switches gears, which in other words can be called a robot. Thus, the robot box shifts gears itself with a certain actuator. There are two types of actuators. The first type is a hydraulic actuator, and the second one is an electric. The classic robotic gearbox was developed in the 60s of the 20th century. Its main disadvantage is the long shift time, which leads to jerks and dips in the dynamics of the car. In order to reduce gear shift time, a dual clutch gearbox was developed. It is worth noting that the dual clutch robotic gearbox is the most common on the market. For example, the well known DSG box for Volkswagen is a robotic gearbox with two clutches. A DSG box with two clutches can be roughly represented as consisting of two separate boxes, each with its own clutch. On the board I have a box body in which there are, as it were, two independent gearboxes. Here is the first gearbox with its own black clutch. This gearbox is responsible for odd gears. And the second gearbox is blue with its own clutch, which is responsible for even gears. These internal gearboxes exist independently of each other, and each of them, as I said, has its own clutch. Let's look at the gear change process. Let's say you're in the first gear. Here you're in the first gear, and here is the clutch. While you are driving in first gear, the car is accelerating. Control sensors tell the box that you are accelerating, and in advance here, here in this place, second gear is engaged. Thus, it turns out that when you are still driving in first gear, the second gearbox is already in the second gear. And at the moment when you really need to switch to second gear, one clutch is simply turned off, this black one, and the blue one turns on. Once again, at the moment of shifting into another gear, the DSG box simply switches the clutch. It disengages one clutch and engages the other. Let's take a look at the real scheme of a dual clutch or body gearbox. Here we see clutch number one. It is gold and has its own gold shaft that links the number one clutch to its part of the DSG box. And this part is responsible for odd gears, first, third, fifth, and seventh. Clutch number two can also be seen here. It is blue and it is also has its own blue shaft and is connected to the second part of the gearbox. This part of the box is responsible for the second, fourth, and sixth gear, that is, even ones. And here I have a scheme from the company Audi. This box can also be divided into two parts, as I have already explained to you. This is the first part, it is responsible for the odd gears, first, third, fifth, and seventh. And it is purple, has its own purple shaft, and ends with a purple clutch. The second part of the DSG box is responsible for odd gears. Well, the third scheme is completely in Russia. It is very easy to distinguish two parts here. Here is the first part, red, responsible for old gears. It has a red shaft and a red clutch. And the second part is green, which is responsible for even, second and fourth gears. Has its own green shaft and green clutch. Let's look at the process of shifting gears on a classical stick. The first action is the clutch. You press the clutch. The second action, you turn off the transmission, say the first one. The third action, you engage the second gear. And the fourth act, you release the clutch. In a robotic gearbox, only two actions need to be performed at the time of gear shifting. The first is to disengage clutch number one, and the second action is to engage clutch number two. 
It turns out that in a manual gearbox at the moment of gear shifting, it is necessary to perform two more actions than a robotic one. Therefore, the robotic gearbox switch gears faster, which affects the dynamics of the car as well as the fuel consumption. Conclusions Modern robotic gearboxes have two clutches and, as it were, consist of two gearboxes, each of which is responsible for its own gears. These transmissions are activated in advance, and already at the moment of gear shifting, these two clutches are simply switched. There are two types of clutch on the market. There are dry-type clutches that are designed for low-power vehicles and wet-type clutches. These clutches are designed for high-performance vehicle. The disadvantage of dry-type clutch is their low resource. Wet clutches run on oil, so they wear much less. A robotic gearbox has several advantages over an automatic transmission. The first advantage is low fuel consumption. The second is the best dynamics of the car. Third, the production cost of a robotic gearbox is slightly lower than an automatic transmission. The disadvantages of a robot box compared to an automatic transmission can only be attributed to a low resource. And the second drawback is that the service and repair of robotic gearboxes is poorly developed in some countries. If you ask me which car to buy and with which box, then I will tell you the following. If I were buying a new car, I would buy it with a robot box. But if you want to buy a used car with a mileage of more than 200,000 kilometers, then I definitely do not recommend buying a robotic gearbox, because it has a low lifespan. In this case, I recommend buying cars with a manual transmission or automatic. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel and all the best to you. See you soon.